how you doing this is brother t if you want to support the channel we have t-shirts and other merch right there in the description just hit the link you were a star child let your light shine for all the world when you open your mouth to reveal a pearl let it shine more just to light the path if it don't add up man just do the math if it ain't for you let it pass on through how you doing this is terry i wilson aka your boy brother t here with another one so we like to call this channel t's life tree and on this channel we like to drop you little pine cones of wisdom if you don't know what that is stick around stay on the channel you'll get it before we get started i need you to like and subscribe i need you to like and subscribe because when you like and subscribe we can continue to give you those pine cones of wisdom all right so today we're going to talk about talkers versus doers talkers versus doers now in your everyday life you can get them confused you can look at a talker and he's talking so great he got a lot of great talk that he's not doing anything and then you got people that just do all right and now every now and then you get a mixture of a doer that talks <laughs> and they're great let me tell you because if they're talking and they're doing man that makes them a superstar in my eyes all right so let's explore talkers versus doers throughout your life if you've had people always i'm going to do this and I, i'm going to that i'm on my way of doing that i know i need to do more of that yes i need to do that i'm going to get on it yeah tomorrow tomorrow see talkers they just talk and talk and talk and talk and all they do is talk they try to make people feel good they try to make people think that they are more than what they are okay now what's that versus doers doers are people that get out and make life happen these are people that make the world turn these are people that build infrastructures people that build communities people that build up other people sometimes okay i do not have respect for somebody that's a talker that won't do okay and even if i do have a little bit of respect i will lose it after a while once they when once it becomes apparent that they're not doing anything or they don't desire to do anything i respect doers and i respect those that talk and do even more so let's get into it so talkers and doers one thing that talkers do they don't commit at anything it sounds like they're committing but they just won't come let me tell you a small story and some of you know, I have another YouTube channel called Tease Money Tree, where we teach people or give them a different perspective on life, prosperity, and generational wealth. We also, at Tease Money Tree, we offer a four module uh, investor root course where we teach people how to invest in the US stock market. We teach them how to look at uh, stock quotes, how to break down stocks, how to choose stocks, and we give them a full understanding for um, companies that are publicly traded, how to trade them, stuff like that. So we go really in depth in that class. But let me tell you about the beginning, the start of me doing that class. When I started doing that class, I was doing it live every week. And what I, what I did um, when I got the knowledge of investing and I started investing myself, I saw it uh, working on my behalf okay and I had the knowledge from the courses I took and then I had the practical knowledge of me actually doing it and making money right so I said okay so let me give this to the people and let me get it give it to them at a discounted price that way they can get worth out of it and then I can get the satisfaction of actually teaching somebody that something they can do that'll benefit them years down the road and benefit their families I really gave a lot of thought into it and I really put a lot of time and effort into creating the course now back then it's a four module course now back then um the course it was a five week course okay and what i did first i canvassed my uh, family and friends first okay for a few reasons for one i wanted to make sure i perfected things right i wanted to put it out there and then you know families are going to be a little more honest with you than strangers sometimes so they're going to tell you okay adjust this change this put a little more of this in there put a little less of that in there so you know that worked out well all right and then you get the flow you'll get used to talking to people speaking to people stuff like that you'll get used to teaching the material you know 
all beautiful, wonderful. So when I got to the point where I got the families and friends, then I started to approach strangers, okay? Now, when you get out of the zone of families and friends, now it becomes a little interesting because they're paying for this course, right? All right, so you, where, where am I going with this? Trust me, it's going somewhere. Be patient. All right, so when I would approach people, I would give them the whole spiel. Hey, you ever wanted to invest in the stock market? And you know, if I go around and ask 10 people right now, are they interested in investing in the stock market? And they're not already, they're gonna say, yeah, man, I always wanted to know how to invest. Okay, so I would give them that spiel and then everybody, everybody was excited when I told them, man, let me tell you, oh, I'm ready to do it now. Let's do it now. Yeah, sign me up, man. What do you need? Okay, I just need your email. Okay, yeah, oh, oh man, this is, this is gonna be crazy and everything and then when I reach out to them they flaking out they coming up with excuses not to do it they're talkers talkers only talkers would do that see I told you I would tie it up right <laughs> but they were talkers okay they became flaky and then some people I, I, I had this thing where okay I'll give you the first week for free this is how confident I am that my course is, you know, it's, it's better than what you're paying for. Now, keep in mind, I had a very, very low price. Very, I mean, stinking low. Almost to the point where I was, um, you know, I, I, I wanted to slap myself the price was so low. Like, what are you doing? You know, the price was so low. So I said, hey, you can come take it for the first week for free. To get into the second week, just drop that deposit, right? So I had a boatload of people come for the free week, of course. The talkers that do that, they'll take free stuff because it takes no effort, right? You don't have to give up anything. So why not do that, right? So they came in, got the free stuff. Oh, they loved it, man. They eating it up. Oh yeah, I'll be back next week. And then the time came. Okay, let me get that deposit for the second week. Ah, you know, yeah, I can't. Oh man, can we do it next week? Or can I pay next week? And then, you know, we go ahead and do the course. And I started getting that. I started getting that to the point where it agitated me. So now I wasn't angry at the people because I understand. I understand flakiness. Okay. I studied that kind of thing. So I understand that a lot of that comes from fear too. Okay. Sometimes they get in there because I was serious with the information. So they really got real information and it hits them. And it's like, um, yeah, I'm a little nervous about that. Right. So I understand flakiness a little bit, but don't talk, don't talk and then come with the flakiness. Okay. Be flaky up front <laughs> with me. All right. Because those were talkers. They weren't doers. They didn't, uh, they weren't like the deposit was like 10 bucks. 10 bucks and each class was over an hour. So I'm killing myself as the instructor, right? You know, you go through the first class, you love the first class, you give a good feedback, everything, you're participating. And then for 10 bucks, you're not ready to spend $10 on your future. That just highlighted to me that some people just want to be procrastinators, okay? Some people just like being in that energy because it's easy to be in that energy. To make your mouth move, it takes a little bit of exercise up here, but honestly, it's very easy to do. Think about it. You can just run your mouth all day long. We literally can sit in one place and talk all day long and it won't really affect us. But when we have to physically get up and do something or when we have to do a lot of mental lifting, okay, and do something or start thinking when we're used to not really thinking, then it affects us, okay? If we, especially if we're lazy or we just don't want to do the work. In the same course, I had some doers in the same course. This is how I know the course was actually good. That was just the individual. Cause I had individuals that really, really, really excelled at the course. All right, so what did the doers do in my course? I would tell them about it. Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready now. And I would say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give it for the first week and then you have to give a deposit the second week. I already sent your deposit, bro. You got cash out, right? So that's a doer, get it? I'm like, oh, oh, sh oh, shucks. Okay, well, I mean, you paid for the whole course up front? Okay, um, yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll be on at one o'clock on Saturday, man. Wow, <laughs> like, that's called a doer. Get it? Notice that story wasn't even long. Dude, they get to the point. 
I want you to be a doer. If you are a, if you are a talker right now, I want you to become a doer. If you're a doer, stay doing what you're doing and learn to talk as you do. So that way you can have everything, right? But talkers, 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 start doing, put things into action, practicality, things that are tangible, things that you can see, smell, touch, that, bring that stuff into existence. Those thoughts, those memories, those aspirations, bring them to the forefront. Start accomplishing your goals is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So I put together a list of things that talkers do and things that doers do. Same scenario, right? So let's just try this out. I want you to really pay attention to this because this is deep and this will apply to a lot of you out there in your everyday life. If you ever talk about a business, right? The talker is going to say, I'm going to start my business soon. Okay. I mean, I, I just can't wait. I got this, all these great ideas, man. I got an idea for this. I got an idea for that. And I just can't wait because man, oh man, I'm going to start this business. You talk to them three months later. Yeah, man, I still ain't started that business. I'm going to do it though. I'm telling you, I just got busy, but I'm telling you, I'm going to be on it. I'm telling you this weekend is when I'm going to do it. That's a talker. Okay. So what is the doer saying? Yeah, man, I got, I got my stuff all figured out, man. I, I already know what I'm gonna do. You talk to him three months. Hey, you start that. Hey man, I just filled out my LLC papers. I just filled out the LLC papers. I got the guy designing the logo right now. I mean, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 a, I'm about to get ready to write up my business plan and everything. That's a doer. That's a doer. Here we go. He's getting stuff done. The other guy, he's still talking. Now, as the doer is getting down the line, he has the uh, LLC. He's got the business plan or he's getting the business plan together. He's got the logo cracking. He might even have the capital already. And this guy over here is still talking about, yeah, man, soon as I, uh, um, I'm saying, soon as Chris graduate high school, uh, see, I'm gonna go ahead and see, that's when I'm gonna um, go ahead and start my business. Cause I'm telling you, uh, I'm tired of uh, sitting here working for uh, such and such. And, and uh, man, I'm just tired, man. I can't, I can't work there no more, man. And the doers got all this stuff done. They work at the same place probably, right? That's what I'm saying. Do, get up and do. Let me give you another scenario. So let's talk about diet. Let's talk about health, right? The talker is going to say, man, I'm, I'm going to start eating better. You know, this stuff is killing me, man. I'm getting big. I'm getting, I'm getting outrageous. It's getting out of control, man. I got to do something about this weight. You talk to him three months later. Yeah, man, I'm going to start, man. I ain't started yet, but I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to start next week. Next, I, yeah, next week, man. You know what I mean? I got to get this stuff out of my system first. Like, let me go ahead. Cause you know, I, I love my pork. So let me eat a little more pork, right? Right? What does a doer do? Yo, I gotta start eating better, man. I, I know I can't quit everything all at once. That'll kill me. So I just cut out pork from my diet, right? And then, you know, probably in a few months, I'm probably gonna go ahead and move up to beef. And then, you know, something else after that. And I'm gonna just work my way until I, until I get a proper diet or I might just stop eating meat all together, bro. Talkers versus doers. <laughs> the other guy, he's putting stuff into the practice, right? Even And notice, I, I wrote that example like that on purpose just to show you. He didn't jump and just stop eating all meat or something, right? Just out of the blue, you know what I mean? He caught one thing and he worked his way up. He did something. This is He's doing something. He's not just talking. Stop talking. What's the next scenario? Exercise. Everybody loves to exercise, right? Yeah, right. Okay. So what does the talker do? Talker is going to say, man, I'm going to start exercising because I'm getting too fat. You know, I'm getting lazy. I'm getting this and that, man. I used to work out all the time. Like a lot of you have heard people say that, or you probably say it yourself. Like I used to look great. You know what I mean? I just, you know, some excuse, right? You know what I mean? I just, I'm so I'm going I'm I'm to start though. I'm going to start next week. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everything is next week, right? So what is a doer doing? A doer will walk up and you'll be like, oh man, you start that exercise routine, they're gonna say, yeah, man, I'm going walks every morning now. I wake up at six o'clock at the crack of dawn, man. I get, I get a 30 minute to an hour walk in before I start my day, every day. You dig? Or they might say, 
I go to the gym. I go to the gym three times a week. You know, I'm starting off with three times a week. I'll work my way up to five and then, you know, there you go. Talkers versus doers. Next scenario, you have a conversation with some someone and they tell you, hey, hey I'm gonna call you, okay? I'm gonna call you, trust me, I'm gonna call you. I, oh man, I'm telling you, cause we gotta talk. I promise I'm gonna call you, all right? You walk up to him, hey man, you, you never called me. Oh man, I, I mean, I, I was just working. I, I was working, so, um, so you know, I, I, shoot. Man, um, so I, I just, I had too much going on. I had too much on my plate, man. I, uh, my bad, bro, you know, it, 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 uh, you know, whatever. You know, it is what it is. I mean, I was working hard though, you know what I'm saying? I was working, I worked 60 hours, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, what is a doer saying? A doer moves stuff ahead. A doer is about getting to that next level of whatever it is. So a doer might say something like, hey man, I apologize for not returning your call, man. I'll make it up to you. What can we do? Hey, let me let me take you to lunch, whatever, man. Sometimes when I get swamped at work, it gets a little hectic and I just forget things, you know what I mean? Admit you forgot it, right? Don't just make up excuses. <laughs> Y'all, the baby got sick, the dog, ate the homework, you know what I mean? And all that mess, you know, just say, hey man, I apologize, you know, I'm gonna make it up to you, bro. I, you know, I ain't gonna miss no more calls, whatever. Next scenario. And this is for all you ladies out there who are dating somebody or seeing somebody that's currently married. I'm gonna help you out, all right? A lot of guys are gonna be looking for me after this episode, okay? All right, and the guy might say something like, yeah, of course I'm gonna file for divorce so we can be together, you know? Uh, but I mean, but, but it's complicated, right? I you know this got to happen and, and, and that's got to happen. And then, you know, and then we got the kids and, and that situation's uh, complicating everything. But, but I mean, but we gonna be together though. That's a talker. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna make some enemies on this. And there's gonna be some brothers listening to this like, T, if you don't shut up, giving up the secrets, all right? <laughs> but, you know, you ladies out there need to know, okay, that a lot of these situations, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen. I'm not saying that a guy won't do that. But understand, if a guy is only leaving his wife because he met you and he wants to be with you, it's probably the wrong reason why he's leaving, right? You should never leave a situation behind that's getting worked on to jump into a new situation when you haven't resolved that situation and if you just meet somebody that he just wants to be with real quick and he's jumping over here leaping over there then what's going to happen when they start having uh, problems right he's going to leap to something else especially if he sees it as a better option all right make sense if it doesn't, rewind it, keep playing it. You'll get it eventually. Trust me. All right. Now, let's say, for instance, you're nowhere in the picture. He has problems in his marriage. They separate or start the filing of divorce. And then you meet him. Whole different story. Now, if he meets you, you click. You, you guys are compatible. And he's setting his future with you. Nothing wrong with that because he can be in a situation where he's working on himself at that point. But if he's in, in the midst of it and then you're just a sunshine rainbow that just came for the moment and you think he's going to lead to you without having some of those same expectations on you, especially if he hasn't worked on himself, you're setting yourself up. But anyway, let me get back to the story. That's what a talker would do, right? But what would a doer do? I just filed for divorce. I wish them well, you know, and, and whatever she gets into, I hope she finds the man for her. Wasn't me. I'm free, I'm open, or at least I will be in the future. Let's explore the connection that you and me have now. Let's see how far we can take this. That's a doer, right? He's probably even telling you, hey, you know, I got I got plans for us. This is the plan. Boom, 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 boom. This is the plan for my life and how you can contribute or if you want to contribute to this. So that's a doer, right? It's not just running his guns. If you just tell you every time you say, yeah, 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 I'm gonna get a divorce. I mean, I can't, I can't right now. I got to do it at the end of March. See, because at the end of March, see, I'm waiting for uh, Chris to graduate, right? <laughs> Chris, old Chris graduating, that old pot, right? Yeah, so when Chris graduates, see, I, I just wanted, I didn't want to like break up the house while the kids was in, and he was a senior, right? And, and then I know if I would have filed, see, um, it would have been a problem with 
him, see, because he would have started flunking his classes, and then, and once he started flunking his classes, see, it would have been my fault because I had filed the papers, you know what I'm saying? Let's go to the next one. All right, so, <laughs> all right. Now, a talker in a situation uh, where they face adversity might say, hey man, you know, that, that lack mentality, that scarcity mindset might hit them and, and they might spot out, what if it doesn't work? What does a doer say? He'll say, let's go. If it doesn't work, I'll learn from it. Talkers versus doers. A talker might say, going back to the course, right? A talker might say, I always wanted to learn stock investing. Remember, I just said that in the story, right? So what, well, what do the doers say? Can I take your investor route for a module course? <laughs> All right, so yeah, I set you up, okay? Take my investor route for a module course, you'll love it. We teach people how to invest in the US stock market. We do it in four modules. It's, it's grand and it's a very low price. I mean, look, if you've ever took a family of, you know, even two to Applebee's, you have spent just as much money as we're charging you in the investor route four module course for the whole four modules that'll teach you how to invest in the stock market. Yes, less than a, a Applebee's dinner for two. Are you kidding me? Get over there and get it, man. Anyway, be a doer. <laughs> this has been your man, Brother T. I had fun with this one. I hope you had fun. I hope you even learned something. And if you're out there and you're a talker and you're a talker and you're not making anything happen, hopefully I can motivate you to get to the point of getting up and doing something instead of sitting there, letting life happen, come up with excuses and telling people what you're always going to do, even though you're not going to do it. You're just saying you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. One day I'm going to do it. 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 Man, get up and do it. This is your man, Brother T. I enjoy talking to you. If you made it this far into the program, then I know you rock with me heavy. And if you rock with me heavy and you stay here and you stay true to who you are and you listen to me give you this knowledge, I guarantee you your life is going to change and it's going to change for the better. Huh. All right. Try me. Just stay here. Keep viewing it and try me. All right. This has been your man, Brother T. Catch you on the next one, family. Peace.